Hey Deckers, Liam here. I have some good news for you on Minecraft Legends, which didn't work at all at release on Steam Deck. But now Valve developer Pierre-Lou Griffet announced on Twitter that Proton Hotfix has been updated for it to run. So you'll see Proton Hotfix show up if you already have it downloaded as an update in your Steam library. Or you can search for it in your Steam library and install it manually. Although if you don't have it downloaded, it will or it should automatically download when you go to run the game. Just ensure you do not have any compatibility option ticked since Valve set it automatically for the game. So that's only a couple of days later and another fun release now works. However, I will note I've seen it crash a couple of times during a few hours of gameplay in my early testing, so it's not quite as stable as it could be. No doubt there will be more Proton fixes and just general bug fixes to the game to come since it is such a brand new release. Another issue is the Microsoft account linking. When you do this in gaming mode, it opens a special browser window where you can enter in your account details. It might actually get stuck after doing your password. However, after waiting a minute, closing and reopening the game, it did actually successfully link. So it's not really a big deal, just a minor issue to be aware of. You could try doing the account linking in desktop mode where it might work a bit better. As for performance though, from my early testing, it's actually really good. Although I will suggest that you drop it down from the default of high just to medium, which so far has given a mostly solid 60 frames a second, apart from a few loading hiccups, which you generally see on desktop as well. On medium, it still honestly looks really quite fantastic thanks to the graphical style of the game. There's not really a huge difference between high and medium, especially at the Steam Deck's 800p resolution. Okay, so what exactly is Minecraft Legends then? Well, it's a real-time strategy action game set in an open world. So like a real-time strategy game, you build structures and summon creatures, but you're also right there in the action controlling a character directly. It's similar in basic mechanics to a game called Tooth and Tail, if any of you have played that. So you get to run around, attack, and direct your forces around to do things for you. Thanks to the wonderful and charming Minecraft style, it is a very inviting game, good for audiences both young and old. However, at least on Steam, users are pretty mixed on their feelings towards it, which sort of goes in the face of traditional critics, which, on the whole, seem rather positive about it. I think the problem there is how it's another Minecraft game like Dungeons catering a lot to the younger Minecraft family while trying to make it a little bit more complicated, but it's not complicated enough perhaps for the more general gaming audience. However, if you're just after a slightly more relaxed but still fun real-time strategy game, you're probably going to quite enjoy it. I know I will be and I have been enjoying it. Personally, I'm looking forward to playing a lot more with my Mini-Me who has it on Nintendo Switch and it has cross-platform multiplayer which is great although I've not had a chance to test that directly just yet. Since it is also available on Nintendo Switch, it lends itself perfectly to the Steam Deck with everything being crystal clear. The text and the interface look absolutely fine and really it feels like an absolutely perfect fit to just sit in bed with or on your sofa feels like a match made for Steam Deck. There is one bit I don't like about this game though, is that it does have an item store, because what's a brand new release from a major publisher without some form of microtransactions? It's just so greedy. On Steam, for example, you can buy mine coins. Currently, they're just cosmetic. But I come from a time of the Amiga, the Sega Mega Drive, and of course, early PC games where cheats and cosmetics were just a thing you got as you play. This constant drive to turn you upside down, shake money out of your pockets for cosmetics just really bugs me. In the marketplace, they're also doing what they call Lost Legends. These are monthly challenges that you can download to play through and earn some free cosmetics and the challenges are free to download as well. Overall, I have to say I'm actually really happy with it apart from that one point about the stupid cosmetic coins. It is a lot of fun to play through, it looks great, and on Steam Deck so far it is performing fantastically, except the couple of crashes that I've had. 
If you do try it out on Steam Deck, just remember to ensure it's set to Proton Hotfix, either manually in the compatibility settings or uncheck it completely to leave it to what Valve set it as automatically. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and for joining me. Do let me know what you think in the comments and I'll be seeing you later.